What is going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? It's Thursday, and we're almost at Friday. It's almost the weekend, so I'm happy about that. Hope you guys are, too. The work week is almost finished. But um, anyway, I got some new news for you, and of course it's figure news, because that is all I talk about and review is figures. But um, uh, DC Collectibles announced a new figure line that they're going to be doing. It's going to be six-inch figures. Um, they're supposed to be, the first wave is going to be released in November, December of this year. They are going to be listed for twenty four ninety five dollars each. And if you would like to pre-order them, you can pre-order them right now at Big Bad Toy Store. I already pre-ordered two Batman figures because he looks really, really badass, that Batman figure. I'm thinking about getting the Green Arrow. I mean, uh, yeah, maybe a Green Arrow too, but, um, the Green Lantern and the Superman figure as well because they look pretty damn badass. But, um, these new figures look really, really cool. I'm going to show you guys the list right here. It shows what they come with, um, the name of the characters. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys uh, the pictures of the characters. But as you can see right there on the screen right there, the first wave of figures, we're going to be getting a dead man figure. I have no idea who that character is, but um, all you dead man uh, fans out there, you're going to be getting a dead man figure. We are also going to be getting a Green Arrow figure, and he looks pretty badass. Green Arrow is a really cool character, and of course a very iconic character. We're going to be getting a Batman, and it says a pre- new 52 so i guess this is before the new 52 costume and all these figures come with a decent amount of accessories as well also we're going to be getting a mr miracle figure i have no idea who he is um also a barry allen flash figure and he looks pretty cool actually and also for wave one the last one is a black adam figure and he looks pretty cool as well <laughs> but that is the wave one figures let me show you guys wave two and wave three right here on the screen as you can see starting from the top it says wave two is going to be released in december and then wave three right in the middle right there says february of 2016 so wave two as we could see a blue beetle i have no idea who that character is um also in wave two we're getting a lex luther and everybody knows who he is that's the arch nemesis of superman another iconic character in dc and also, the last one for Wave 2 is going to be Green Lantern, the Hell Jordan Green Lantern. And he looks pretty damn awesome. I need to get a Green Lantern figure. I think I might get this one. And um, for Wave 3, we're going to be getting Superman, which is pretty awesome. I think he should have been in Wave 2 or something. But, oh, well, they're throwing him in Wave 3. And he comes with, like, a, uh, a robot. And you'll see in the picture later. Um, also in Wave 3, we're getting an Aquaman. Uh, also, we are getting a Harley Quinn. Um, I found all the characters' pictures, but I couldn't find Harley Quinn, so we're going to see everyone's picture besides Harley Quinn. I don't know if they showed her picture, but uh, I couldn't find it. And then the last figure in Wave 3 is going to be an Atom set. Now, this is three figures. They're all different sizes. Uh, one's a six-inch figure, and then there's one that looks like it's three inches, and then a real tiny one that looks like it's an inch and a half or something, but... This is Wave 1, 2, and 3 of this new DC Collectibles figure 6-inch scale line that's going to be coming out later on this year. So, anyway, that's the uh, lineup for them. Let's take a look at the pictures of these awesome-looking figures. Alright, on the first character up right here, this is the Dead Man figure. Now, we're starting from Wave 1, we're going to move our way to Wave 2 and Wave 3, but... From Wave 1, this is Dead Man. As I said, I have no idea who this character is. The figures look very well sculpted and painted, and they look really good, uh, re have really good articulation, it looks like, as well. And I really hope these figures have ankle pivot, because I really hate it when a figure does not have ankle pivot. To me, it ruins a figure, and it, it just, I, I think it's horrible if there's no ankle pivot, but I have a feeling these figures are going to have it. But um, there's the Dead Man figure, and it says that he comes with an interchangeable head and a ghost aura. So he's going to come with a different head sculpt and, a, and uh, another accessory, a ghost aura. I have no idea who it is. People who know this character and know the comics that he's in probably know what the ghost aura is and everything. <clears throat> Alright, next character on the list is the Green Arrow figure. He looks pretty awesome, actually. I like the... Uh, different green tones they use they use two two different green colors right there 
and he comes with uh, bow and arrows, but it looks like he comes with two different sets of bows and two different sets of arrows, which is pretty cool. One looks like an older version, which is the one that he's holding right there, and then <clears throat> the one on the left right there looks like a more updated now version of his uh, bow and arrow, which is pretty cool. So that's a pretty cool thing that DC did right there. And it looks like he is very well articulated too. It looks like by the ab crunch they have two spots of articulation. I do not think they have waist swivel. It looks like their swivel is more up by the upper chest part right there. And then the ab crunch looks like the lower part right there. But that's the green arrow. Let's move on to the next figure who personally is my personal favorite out of all the figures. Which is probably a lot of people's personal favorite, the Batman figure. And I like the blue, gray, and the black bat symbol right there. I like the whited out eyes. Looks really damn awesome. And uh, Batman comes with a batarang, a grapple gun, and it looks like he comes with interchangeable hands right there, which is pretty cool. And I really love the way that batarang looks. It looks so awesome. That looks like the, uh, that reminds me of the Michael Keaton logo right there. That Or, is it that one? Yeah, that, that's the one that it reminds me of, the Michael Keaton one from the uh, movies. But I really like the way that battering looks, and I love how he comes with a bunch of interchangeable hands right there. It says he comes with a grapple gun, but I don't see it. I don't know if that's it under the battering. That doesn't look like a grapple gun to me, though. It's too dark to tell. But the Batman figure looks really damn awesome. His cape looks like it's a soft, it might be a softer plastic material. Um, it looks like they have ankle pivot because of the way that his legs are posed. So I'm really hoping DC puts ankle pivot on these figures because that'll be really dope all right next figure for wave one this is mr miracle did i call him miracle man before i don't know but um mr miracle comes with some miracle discs i have no idea what those are and he comes with a mother box i have no idea what that is either i mean the paint looks crazy on this figure it looks really cool i think and uh the sculpt looks really really awesome too and his cape is sculpted just really crazy looking but um, everybody who's a fan of Mr. Miracle, there is a figure for you for, for this line. Anyway, on to the next figure, which is the Barry Allen Flash figure. And he comes with a Speed Force treadmill, which is pretty funny. But that's that's a pretty cool uh, accessory that the Flash comes with. Um, hopefully he comes with interchangeable hands, maybe a pair of fists at least, you know, instead of just those uh, running hands right there. Or karate chop hands, but that more looks like uh, running hands to me right there, because that's how he runs with his hands uh, fully extended like that. But uh, he he looks really well painted. Looks pretty. I like the red they used. You could see shading throughout the figure. You could see shading throughout all the figures, which is something I really like. DC Collectibles, they know how to paint their figures, add shading onto it. That's what I love about DC Collectibles. The only thing with them, uh, the DC collectibles, they always uh, break easily. And uh, it says that they used a new type of plastic for these figures. So <clears throat> hopefully these figures will not be so fragile like past figures from DC collectibles, which um, I think they fixed their problem. Hopefully they won't be as fragile anymore and they'll be a lot better figures and I like the scale two six inch figure scale line is the scale line I collect so pretty damn awesome but anyway let's let me show you guys the last figure in wave one which is the black Adam figure and he looks pretty damn cool he's supposed to come with a uh, some lightning bolt hands or something like that I mean I don't know much about the black Adam character I just know the rock got signed to play this character and um that's all I know about this character, but hopefully he comes with interchange interchangeable hands as well. I hope I hope they all do, because to me, when figures come with interchangeable hands, that makes the figure so much better, in my opinion. I really think that um, puts the figure higher up in my book of grading figures. So that's the uh, Black Adam figure right there, and he looks really well articulated. The paint looks fine. The sculpt looks good, too, and he kind of does look, look like The Rock a little bit, but... um. This is the wave one. Let's keep moving on with the pictures and let's get to wave two and three.
Okay, so now continuing on to wave two, as you see in the picture right here, that is the blue beetle figure. I have no idea who this character is. It says his accessories are some arm cannons and removable wings. So those wings he, have, he has on right there, you can remove them, and um, he comes with some arm cannons, which sound pretty badass to me. I like the blue colors that they used for the figure. I like the way the wings look, because they look very insect-like, and he is called the blue beetle, so that's pretty cool right there. The sculpt looks pretty awesome also. Alright, so the next figure for Wave 2 is the Lex Luthor figure. As you can see, he has his Mr. Clean bald head right there. And he's got uh, his battle armor on. And it's green and then uh, purple under it. I like the way the battle armor is sculpted. The green parts like the upper chest and the boots looks pretty cool right there. Looks like he has good wrist articulation. Double jointed elbows. I don't know about, I don't know if he has double jointed knees. He has the ab crunch and then, um... It looks like where the green armor starts or ends, it looks like that That might be where the swivel is. Like I was saying in the upper chest, I think is where the swivel is because I do not see a swivel, swivel by the waist of any of the figures. But it says that Lex Luthor comes with some clip-on energy blades. I have no idea what those are. Sounds pretty cool, though. They didn't show any pictures of it with the figure, so we do not know what they look like. And the last figure for Wave 2 is going to be the Hell Jordan Green Lantern figure. And this figure looks pretty damn awesome. Um, he, As you can see on the left right there, he comes with his power armor that is powered by his ring, obviously, because that is where the Green Lantern's power com comes from. And I like the green translucent plastic plastic that they used for the power armor. It looks pretty cool. I really like the way that looks. So when you snap it onto the Green Lantern figure, you'll be able to see Hal Jordan through that uh, translucent green, which is really, really cool. I like the way the figure is painted. I like the green that they chose. Um, you can see his ring on his right hand right there. Hopefully he comes with some interchangeable hands because to me that always makes a figure 20 times better if it has at least another pair of hands, at least one more pair of hands because um, that just makes the figure a, a, a lot better. But um, that is all the figures for Wave 2. Let's continue on with the figures for Wave 3. <clears throat> and as you see right here, one of the most iconic DC characters, we get a Superman figure. And he looks pretty damn awesome. I like how clean the paint is around the S for the Superman, which is the symbol for hope, as it's said in the movie. I don't know if that's really true. I'm not the biggest Superman fan, but I like the new movie. When I was a little kid, I loved Superman. I always tried to make my hair have that little curl on the front right there when I was a little kid. <laughs> But, um, as you see, he has his red cape, the red boots, his blue costume. He comes with that robot right there. It says Robot Helper Calix. I don't know if I pronounced that name right. K-A-L-A-X, Calix. Uh, Superman also comes with some interchangeable hands, a uh, head, and a chain. I don't know what the chain is for. If anybody knows, comment it in the comments below, because I don't know why he's coming with a random chain. But his articulation looks really well, just like the other figures. Uh, you can see the double jointed knees and elbows, and as I was saying, there's no waist articulation. I think it's by the upper chest, which is where we're going to get the um, swivel for the waist, because um, I don't see a waist swivel. <clears throat> That's going to be the only type of swivel up by the upper chest, which is fine, as long as it swivels, you know. And then the ab crunch is a little lower down, as you can see right there. But, um, that's the Superman figure for Wave 3. Let's keep going. Next is Aquaman right here. And he looks painted pretty well, sculpted pretty well, and he has the same articulation as all the other figures. Uh, again, no waist articulation. Like I said, probably up by the upper uh, torso right there. He has the double jointed knees and elbows. Kind of hard to see the lower articulation. And it says that he only comes with his trident. Uh, the trident looks really, really cool. I like the gold that they used. And it looks very sharp at the end, too. But um, hopefully he comes with interchangeable hands. Because that will be really cool, too. Um, <clears throat> the next figure I would be talking about is the Harley Quinn figure. I couldn't find pictures of her. But she comes with a hammer. Which I know Harley Quinn loves her hammer. She comes with a rubber chicken. She also comes with a pop gun. And she comes with a pie. <laughs> so a bunch of random accessories and cool ones also. But um, 
that's what Harley Quinn is going to be coming with. And then the last figure is the Atom set. Three figures right here. The main figure is the female on the left right there. Her name is uh, Atomica. I think I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. But it's Atomica from the Crime Syndicate of America. I don't know any of these characters, but that's what it says next to her name in the beginning of the video when it shows the Atom set. Um... The mid-sized figure is Ryan Choi, or Cho, or Choi, I think it's Choi. That's the uh, mid mid-size figure right there, and he kind of looks uh, pretty well articulated. And then the smallest figure is Ray Palmer. I do not know who that character is either, but that's who that tiny figure is right there. The, uh, the Atomica figure on the left right there, she's the main 6-inch version of the uh, Atom set right here. She looks very well sculpted, and she looks like she has pretty decent articulation. Yep, she has double-jointed elbows. I was trying to look if she had double or single-jointed. I can't tell by the knees if she has double or single-jointed. Again, no waist swivel. It looks like it's by the upper torso right there. Uh, wrist articulation, as you can see, too. Painted very clean as well. Same with the uh, uh, two smaller figures as well. But, um... Just wanted to let you guys know about these figures. That's my uh, video news slash update of them. I've been hearing news about it. DC Collectibles just announced it. So um, I hope you guys are looking forward to these figures because I'm looking forward to a couple of the characters, especially the Batman and the uh, Green Lantern mostly. I might grab the Green Arrow as well, maybe the Flash. I'm definitely going to get a Superman too, so... Uh, let me know what you guys think of these figures, if you're going to be collecting them, if you think it's cool that DC Collectibles is making a 6-inch figure scale line now to add to their um, uh, figure line. Um, how do you feel about the price? Pretty much 25 bucks a piece. Um, a little more expensive than Marvel Legends, but still a decent price. Hopefully they're, uh, they might be painted a lot better, maybe detailed a lot better than Marvel Legends. Maybe that's where that extra 5 bucks is coming from. And uh, like I said, if you want to pre-order them, hit up Big Bad Toy Store right now. They got all the characters up there. I don't know if I saw the Harley Quinn up there. I'm going to recheck because um, I, I can't find the picture of the Harley Quinn figure for some reason. Maybe they're not ready to show the prototype picture yet. But uh, hit up Big Bad Toy Store if you want to pre-order these figures. Um, but anyway, that's my video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and if you liked it, hit that like button. If you didn't, you can go beep yourself. <laughs> but um, look out for uh, two new reviews that I'm going to be uh, coming up with soon. I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Tomorrow I should have the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Hobgoblin Wave Daredevil. So look out for the Daredevil review tomorrow or Saturday. And I just also ordered the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Hobgoblin uh, uh, build a figure, Spider-Man figure, so look out for that new comic version, uh, Spider-Man figure, that'll probably be next week, so look out for Daredevil review tomorrow, and then Spider-Man a couple days after, anyway, I'll see you guys later, peace out.